We're in the Cessna Citation CJ4 in Microsoft Flight Simulator and we're en route to Nice in the south of France in part two of my journey from London City to Nice Côte d'Azur Airport. Hello and uh, welcome back to the channel. You find me en route to Nice Côte d'Azur Airport in the south of France and I've come here from London City in the Cessna Citation CJ4. This is part two of this video series so if you haven't watched part one yet I'd recommend you do that first otherwise things may get a little bit confusing. But uh, we've just been cleared onto our arrival and uh, we are uh, now on the arrival passing uh, Nysar and just past uh, Zerbi and we will shortly begin a descent. We've been allocated the Arnav 22 left Delta approach into the airport and I will freely admit that I uh, have faked the weather to make that happen so this isn't live weather anymore this is a weather theme that I put together uh, in order to give me the runway that I wanted and uh, with the live weather at the moment it would be uh, runway 04 left which is an ILS approach and is frankly a bit boring so I've hacked it so that we can do the RNAV 22 left delta approach which is a bit more interesting so as I mentioned in the previous video this approach uh, is IFR up until a point at about 90 degrees to the runway um, arriving in the uh, the bay on which the town of Nice is situated and uh, uh, from there there is a, a VPT, a visual prescribed track that you have to take around the curve of the bay to get yourself on target for a landing. So that makes it a bit more challenging and to be honest I have stuffed it up quite a few times already which is one of the reasons why it's taken so long to make this video but if you're seeing this today that means I must get it reasonably right so spoiler um, uh, that's what we're going to be doing and it looks like I'm going to get it uh, right in the meantime we are shortly going to arrive at uh, Dotic when we should be beginning an initial descent uh, so I'm going to request my descent from ATC um, I've set it up so that it, it uh, waits for me to ask rather than the other way around. Remember I'm using Pro ATC SR um, rather than uh, uh, Pilot to ATC which I've been using previously on the channel for Microsoft Flight Simulator so things are a little bit different but um, yeah, top of descent should be at, at Dotic uh, and we should be going down initially to 20,000 feet. Hope everybody is well. Uh, in part one, I talked about how I got the CJ4 automated into my cockpit. And uh, I went into fairly great detail there, so I'm not going to repeat myself here. But um, as I mentioned, this is about the only jet that I can do this with. 
at the moment, so um, kind of limited in terms of my choice, but I'm, I am enjoying flying the, the CJ4, I will admit. Right, let's ask for descent. Right, we're on our way down. Just throttle back a little bit so we don't overspeed. So it's uh, it's quite spectacular scenery around here. Um, it gets very mountainous around this part of France. These are basically the foothills of the French Alps. And if we have a look out the left window, you can see uh, some mountains out there, and some of them are, are quite pretty. And in the distance, you can see the Alps themselves. Some of the taller peaks. I don't know exactly which ones are which. Uh, we're not heading in that direction, so we're not going to get any more mountainous. In fact, as we head down towards the coast, things will get flatter again. Uh, but this is definitely more visually interesting than, uh, say, northern France, where I was. Altitude. Pretty hazy, I have to say, uh, which seems to be a result of the weather. As we get a bit lower, hopefully the haze will clear, and we'll see a bit more of what's going on. Uh, I'm not really sure how to adjust the weather theme to increase the visibility since weather themes are not really my thing I'm only doing it today because otherwise we would be uh, coming in against the wind and against all the AI traffic which is not what I want there you go down to 1.5 Well, we'll continue our descent. Eurowings 1787, maintain present altitude. Present altitude, Eurowings 1787. So the actual weather in, in uh, Nice is not dissimilar to this. It is uh, largely cloud-free. Um, but the main difference is the winds at the moment. Uh, i say the weather at Nice is the wind is one one zero at three knots, so that would be the the zero four runway, just about. Um, so let's put in the performance data. Uh, approach wind is two seven one at two. Right, that temperature. British is also wrong. Zero, zero. Contact approach control on one three four decimal four seven five. One thirty four decimal four seven five. B R T two six zero zero. Descend into flight uh. level one one zero. B R T two six zero zero. Right, so yeah, there we've got the performance. Uh, VRF one o three approach one o nine, and we'll send that off to the avionics. Right, we are making our turn, just made our turn, at uh, Amfu. And we're heading towards Tipic. Tipic will turn towards Mus, and Mus is uh, where we need to be um, at 8,000 feet, and that's where we go on to the approach. So you can see the coastline now. It's quite a pretty part of the world, this. I've spent quite a few holidays in the south of France, um, particularly when I was younger, and I've been to uh, the uh, uh, to Cannes and Nice and a few other places uh, on business. Two, six, zero, zero. So speed to two, five, zero knots. Slowing down to two, five, I'm zero, already zero, under two, two, five, zero, zero, but zero. thank you. If anything, I can actually speed up slightly. <laughs> um, so I know the area, you know, reasonably well, uh, and we'll see quite a few of those places along the south coast because we will uh, turn right and fly along the coast 
um, on our way to the approach. It's quite a long approach from uh, Mus to uh, the next waypoint, which is Sotox, I believe. Um, it's about 43 miles and it'll take us out uh, partly over the Mediterranean just need to put my procedure in on four flights so on now from my 22 left delta must transition out to route right there we go right, making a right turn at Tipic We'll begin our approach just um, before we hit the coast. As of yet, I don't believe France has had a world update, so. Uh, this terrain, I'm sure, could be probably improved upon, but it's actually pretty good. I mean, it's it's better than the default scenery you get in P3D. Approach runway two two left transition MUS. All right, we are cleared. Left transition MUS the RT two six zero zero. Right, two and a half miles to Mus. Make a big left turn and. Uh, begin our approach. Arriving at 8,500. Slowing down a bit as well. British 2600. Turn left heading 090. Descent 3500. QNH 1010. Left turn to heading 090. Descent into 3500. QNH 1010. BRT 2600. Right, here comes the turn. I seem to be getting vectors from ATC, which I really don't want. Uh, so I'm going to ask for direct to SOTOX. British 2600. Cleared direct to SOTOX. Intersection. Turn left, heading 075. Intersection. Left turn to heading 075. Might be able to see the airport in more detail now. So it's one thing about Pro ATCX, I do wish it would uh, leave you alone uh, when you're on a published approach. Um, or at least, you know, have the option to do that. Whereas it will insist on vectoring you uh, even though you don't want vectors. Now we are pointing at Sotox. As you can see, we're going to go out over zero zero the Mediterranean. Speed to two five zero knots. Slowing down to two five zero. The RT two I'm already at considerably less than two five zero, so I don't really know. Maybe that's just a bug in in picking up the data from uh, flight sim. Two hundred and twenty knots. Was planning on staying there. Eh. If he wants me to go at two fifty, I'll go at two fifty. Right, so right on the left hand side there you can see a bay and some cruise ships. And that is the town of Cannes, the city of Cannes, famous for the film festival, Very amongst nice other things. And we'll see more of that as we go past. Now you should be able to see much more detail on Nice Airport. I can actually see the runways now. Um, that's, uh, that's where we're going. Just um, passing Saint Tropez. If I pop out, that is uh, that Saint Tropez down there. British two six zero zero. Turn to heading zero eight zero. Heading zero eight zero. BRT two six zero zero. I'm already on seven six. So I see no reason to change my course right now. Let's not uh, let's not argue over a few degrees. Right, there's the airport can actually see the runway lights for 2-2 right. 
Look out the left window. No, you can't quite see can yet, but we'll see it in a minute. Out that way, of course, is just C. Uh, if we could see far enough, if we were high enough up, we'd see the coast of North Africa. But we are not, so we don't. Yeah, there's the airport becoming ever more visible. We're going to go right past the airport, by the way, of course, because we're coming in from the other side. At this point, I think, probably wise for the passengers to have their seatbelts on. So there's Cannes, there's Cannes Airport down there. And uh, those cruise ships, I think, are static objects. They don't go anywhere. Uh, you can get ship traffic packages for the simulator. I don't have any at the moment, but I know they do exist. I might look into some of those. And if we uh, pop the drone out and move over this side of the aircraft, uh, you get a better look at Nice Airport, right centre screen right now. And you can see the reason why there is no ILS into uh, runway 22, because them mountains are in the way. Here's the turn at Sotox. Thank you, Devon Air 502, after Mayfield 250 knots. After Mayfield 250 knots, Devon Air 502. And back on the V path. British 2600, slow 2200 knots. Already there. Three five four, maintain present altitude. Present altitude three five four. All right, heading to Nanax now. Three miles to go. Passing four thousand eight hundred. So we'll make it in time. Late descent, could have done it. Uh, much more shallow descent, but uh, it's fine. Speedbird 8590, maintain present altitude. Present altitude, Speedbird 8590. British 2600, intercept the final tower. Frequency is 122.38. Here's the turn on Nanax. Alright, so I can stay on the VNAV now. There's the airport ahead. So working out when to make the turn is a bit of a pain on this one. I've watched lots of videos of pilots doing it in the real world and uh, I've seen several different approaches to it. If you'll forgive the pun. Now my final approach speed today should be 109 knots. So we're a ways above that right now. I'm going to start slowing down. Got five miles to go to MN22D. 
I'm gonna go uh, gear down flaps three five shortly before that. Right. They're on the three oh three heading just about. Uh, when we get within a mile of MN two today, I'm gonna turn off the L nav so that we don't uh, get turned by the autopilot and then it will be manual takeover time. The speed's coming down. And we're heading down to 1300 feet, which is uh, where we need to be. And then I'm going to set the altitude bug down to zero. Ready for our final uh, descent. VNAV will stop us at 1300 until we go autopilot off. Two miles to MN22D. Two two right Have the landing lights on now. LNAV goes off. Passing 1600 feet. 150 knots. Gear and flaps will slow us um, enough, I should think. Right, gear down. Flaps So pilot goes off. Bring the nose up a bit. So I've descended a little bit too far because uh, screwed up slightly, but that's all right. This is where I'd really like my left view or uh, oh, to have set up my Toby eye tracker. Final runway two two left B R T two six zero zero. Slow to final approach speed Q N H one zero one zero. Clear to land runway two two left. Final approach right, speed Q N H one zero one zero. Clear to land runway two two nice left. Gentle turn. Two six zero zero. There's two two right. Two two left. So yeah. Slow the roll a bit. Just watching the vertical profile. And then two front drop up clear. Take up two seven lights. Wind calm. Radar altimeter says 500. In we go. Cleared to land. A little bit high. Drop the nose a bit. Alex 
1231, contact Tim Manchester, 124 decimal 2. Any time. Uh, Jersey 4831, 124 decimal 2. Uh, BRT 2600, gate is right, contact ground on 12 decimal 1, 2, 1, We're going to go further down so we get the right turn off. Not this one, but the next one. Welcome to Nice, everybody. Landing lights off. Taxi on, strobe off. And we'll just clear the runway. A little bit of stuttering, not sure where that's coming from. Hold here for a minute. Right, that's us for a taxi. Ground BRT two six zero zero is cleared off the runway. Request taxi for parking. British two six zero zero. Taxi via to parking position one thirty two. Via to parking position one thirty two. BRT two six zero zero. That's the classical Pro ATC. Uh, doesn't understand the taxiway arrangements deal. Uh, which is annoying. I find Pilot 20C is definitely better on the ground. Alright, so... Before I cross the runway, I'm going to have a look since... I think Pro ATC really knows how to clear you. So, nothing coming in, and obviously nothing on that end, so we can cross. So parking 132, I have no idea where that is, uh, but that's alright, I already know where I'm parking. Parking in the general aviation parking. Oops, no, don't want to go that way. <laughs> AI traffic appearing and disappearing. Unfortunately, uh, AI in this sim is really in a pretty poor state, if you ask me. Um, it's got a long way to go yet, and it's not AIG's fault. They can literally only inject traffic. The, the sim handles all of the traffic. The level of control that you have over it is apparently nowhere near as good as it is in uh, FSX P3D. Okay, so there's Terminal 1. Very nicely modelled it is too. This is Asobo's airport. Well, I'm not sure if they made it, but it's uh, uh, it's part of the premium deluxe edition of the game. And uh, yeah, it's pretty representative of what you've got in the real world. Some Air France part there. Go past the uh, the fire station and some of the parking out there. Then we go past Terminal Two and down to the general aviation parking, which is uh, on the other side of the airport. Taxi would have been easier if we come into zero four, but that would have been a boring approach. Whereas what we have was quite interesting. I didn't stuff it up that badly, which is good. You know, I'm, I'm not ashamed of that landing. I wouldn't say I'm super proud of it either, but I'm definitely not ashamed. So I think, I think this video is finally going to make it. So 
So that's Terminal 2. I'm not quite sure what the, the difference is in terms of uh, which airports service which destinations from which terminals. I've been to Nice Airport, but it's been a long time. 2003, I think, was the last time I was here. Maybe even earlier than that, actually. Now, there is a no entry sign down here, so I can't go directly into the parking area that I want, so we'll need to do a little bit of uh, a diversion. No entry signs coming up here. As you can see, so what we're going to do is going to follow this line. Turn onto this taxiway. Really not sure why we're getting stutters here when we weren't getting stutters in London. Because this is certainly not as demanding, and I have photogrammetry turned off. So it's not even that. Speaking of which, I think if I had photogrammetry on, we'd probably get slightly nicer buildings. So we're on taxiway uniform. Basically, we're going to go down the end, round in a semicircle, and then onto the parallel taxiway. Uh, and we're going to be parking up there. This is labelled general aviation parking, but I think you do occasionally get uh, airliners parking down here. this lot. One thing you do get with ARG is a lot of variety. No idea which airline that is. Now we come round in the semicircle past what looks like a hangar building of some description. Now we need to stop for this bus. Hello Mr. Bus. Vehicles in Microsoft Flight Sim uh, are a bit of a pain in the bum. Right, where are you going? Do you want to drive through me? I suspect this bus would like to drive through me. I may have to drive through it at this rate. So it doesn't appear to be going anywhere. Yeah, I know it's unrealistic, folks, but there's not a great deal I can do. Um, Clean chicken with ground vehicles seems to be just uh, part of the course in this game. So let's just pretend this bus isn't here and I'm not about to crash into it. Oh, he's going to back up into me. Even better. I'm going to go and park uh, in front of that church over there. Just over the other side of the aircraft that you can see in front of us. So, long taxi. Not as long as the eternal taxi at... Uh, Amsterdam, and in, uh, by the way, recreating my flight from London City to Amsterdam is also on my list of uh, flights to try again in Microsoft Flight Sim. If you remember that one, which is way in the prehistory of this channel, uh, I arrived in Amsterdam in some pretty bad weather, and I haven't done a lot of bad weather flying uh, in Microsoft Flight Sim, so uh, that would be cool. Right, 
let's turn in here. Parking 112, it's only 20 off where I was supposed to be. And we'll stop there. Parking brake on. Taxi light off. Nav light off. Right, right engine stop. The, uh, Left now, engine stop. Beacon off, and we'll clear those warnings. Get another warning in a minute. There we go. Excellent. Alright, here we are. See how well we parked. That's not bad, actually. Yeah. Well, just... Just to the right of the line, and then... Just short of the T. I'll take that, honestly. The the lack of visibility uh, means you have to kind of know how far to run the nose over. Uh, and I guess, you know, you, you get that way through uh, judgment, eventually. Now, there's no GSX at the moment. I mean, GSX is available for Microsoft Flight Sim right now. I haven't tried it. I hear it's a mixed bag. Uh, we'll get around to it, but even even if uh, I could, there's no opening the uh, the door on this aircraft. It literally doesn't open on the model, so we couldn't get the passengers to visually disembark whether we wanted to or not. So uh, that will do us. And um, yeah, if you watched all the way through, thank you for your time. I appreciate it. If you only watched a little bit, thank you for your time. I appreciate it. If you uh, would uh, like to leave a comment or a question, then put that below and I'll try and answer as quickly as I can. Uh, and if you want to subscribe to the channel, of course I would welcome that. But please do click the little bell icon as the schedule here is very erratic, as demonstrated by the length of time between this video and the previous one. There are reasons why it's so long between videos, not just my own you know, life getting in the way. Um, and as long as this remains an entirely hobby-based uh, channel, which it always will, uh, I'm afraid I can't guarantee you regular videos, but I will always do the best that I can to uh, make the videos as interesting as I can. Uh, and uh, if you did like it, hit the like button. If you disliked it, of course, hit the dislike button. That also helps me to know. Right, that will do us. So I will say uh, goodbye from Nice and the CJ4. Uh, next video is likely to be another flight in the CJ4, although I have some other content planned, so keep an eye out for all of that, and I look forward to seeing you back on the channel very soon.